All right, what's going on, guys? It's Trent back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video review for The Walking Dead Trade Paperback Volume 14, No Way Out. This trade paperback is one of my favorites from the entire series, uh, right up there with Made to Suffer, which, if you guys don't know, that is the volume where the governor and Woodbury, you know, makes their all-out uh, assault on the prison. This one is sort of like... Um, you know, uh, as almost as exciting as that, uh, except the lead up to it wasn't as big. Um, so I'd say that that's probably the climax of The Walking Dead still. But this would sort of be like a second climax, just not quite as exciting, but pretty damn close. And uh, the reason why I like this one so much is because it deals with something that, again, we have not seen before in the in the comic book series. Uh, we have actually seen this in uh, The Walking Dead um television series season two finale which was bananas if you guys haven't seen my review for beside the dying fire go check it out because uh, um, that was one of the coolest uh, episodes probably one of my favorite episodes of any show I've ever seen uh, if not my favorite I'd probably say better angels is my favorite still but that episode's amazing and the reason why is because we actually get to see the group's location uh, and home base so to speak be attacked by a herd of walkers a herd of zombies which up to this point in the comic book, we actually never got to see. In the television show, they did it. But in the comic book series, we never got to see uh, their location be attacked by an absolute herd. In this one, they are. All the firing of guns in the gunfight in the last trade paperback, the last story arc, uh, leads to this. As you can see here, it is illustrated. Uh, no Way Out, Volume 14. You've got Rick and Michonne sort of looking out the window from the side of the house, uh, being cautious. And that's because... There are, you know, uh, you know, there is a field of zombies uh, that it basically assaults uh, um, a Alexandria and uh, breaks down the barrier just from so many of them pushing and make their way inside the gates. Uh, let me see if I can get you a picture of when that happens. I'm just trying to see now. Yeah, so it's right about, so they're fighting off some walkers, fighting off some walkers. And there's a big reveal scene where we get to see how just how many there actually are. Here it is here. So they sort of, Glenn sort of turns the corner and he sees like a field of them coming towards him. So in other words, a herd. They shut the gate. They close it off. Uh, there's some casualties. Forget this guy's name. Didn't get to know him long enough. Boom, he gets, he gets eaten alive. Uh, there's a, quite a few character deaths in this. Major spoilers. Uh, this is where we actually get to see the death of Morgan, which is really exciting because he's a character that's been, that was in the first trade paperback way back when and he dies Douglas the leader of the community dies as well um, who else uh, Rick's new love interest Jesse who is um, as you can see here it basically just starts to happen and then you know um, very quickly uh, she doesn't make it uh, also another thing I like about this here is a, a gentleman trying to hold the barrier and with a zombie uh, hand in and he can't they break in, and before you know it, the whole community is just... Here's a, here's another one to illustrate all the walkers against the wall. And then they break it down. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to find where they break it down. This is a really uh, heavily intense one here. Here's another scene of, of uh, the walkers after they break down the barrier, and they're eating this guy alive. Um, yeah, that sort of happens. Yeah, right here, they put a, they put a car in front of it. But it doesn't work, as you can see here. Too much pressure, and the walkers fill before before long fill the community. Here's where Morgan gets it. Finally, I mean, he was alive for a long time. He did pretty good to survive. Rick tries to save him, but he can't. Uh, Michonne also cuts his arm off trying to save him, but I don't think it works. Uh, if memory saves me correct. Um, and uh, the most exciting part, though, by far, major spoilers for this one is basically Rick. And the people that are at this uh, Jesse's house, uh, basically Rick decides the best decision is to leave. Like straight up, just get the hell out of there. Screw anyone who's not with him and just take Carl and Jesse and her son and uh, Michonne, I think, and get the heck out of there as well as a couple other people. So they, they do the whole guts trick. If you guys remember from season one of the show in Guts, where they cover themselves also in, I think, the second trade paperback, or actually the first one, they cover themselves in zombie guts and they try to walk through. But what happens pretty quickly is that uh, Jesse's son, who gets really scared, starts peeing himself and they talk. His name's Ron. And before you know it, boom, he gets bitten, 
Um, Jesse doesn't want to leave him. She gets bitten right here. Douglas is ready to shoot him, shoot himself. Um, uh, she won't let go of uh, Jesse's got her hand on Carl, and she won't let go of it while she's being eaten. And Rick axes her hand off, cuts through it right there. So, and then you know Carl's all traumatized and just kind of like you know they both are kind of just don't look back. And then Douglas starts losing his mind and starts shooting, and Rick tries to tell him to stop, but he's drawing in more. This will give you an idea of the situation here. Um, so just pff, walkers everywhere. And Rick and Carl, basically, this is one of the most, uh, I don't want to spoil this for anybody. This, If uh, if, if you, you don't really know what's going on and you intend to read this, uh, stop the video right now. Otherwise, major spoilers. Um, Douglas shooting off that gun, as it turns out. Rick looks back and says, is everyone okay? And Carl looks at him like that. And he says, Dad, wow. <laughs> wow. And then uh, Carl passes out. So one of Douglas's stray shots goes through. Uh, Rick yells, you know, Carl. He's obviously, you know, loses his mind at this point. Grabs Carl, runs with him uh, to the infirmary and basically uh, slams the door shut and is, uh, you know, using his axe to fend off some walkers who saw him go in there. Michonne sort of makes her other way off too. And basically the walkers, it gets to the point where the walkers are going to, you know, break down some of the doors and maybe, you know, uh, go after Carl or, or get Carl. So Rick decides he's going to walk outside and just, just have at her. Uh, a lot of the other characters join in with him. And we see basically, you know, them just one at a time, just hammering down. This is one of the coolest things right here. You can see all the characters, and they're just axing and hammering all these walkers and just beating them down and everything. There's just a just a field of zombies at this point. And um, here's a great spread. This is one of the best spreads in, in the whole series for sure. You see this this field at the bottom here of walkers, and you just got Rick and the rest of the people, and they're just like, you know, all sweaty and stuff from just 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 oh man just killing all of them and uh, yeah that's it so basically instead of running away what they end up doing is they end up actually just killing all the walkers one at a time just fighting them all down and just uh, just killing them all with their you know with their axes and uh, bats and everything else just beating the snout out of them so instead of running away actually fighting them so at the end of this issue, of course, Carl is in the infirmary. He's passed out and everything like that. And uh, we're worried at this point of whether or not he's going to uh, survive. Which, uh, of course he does, but uh, he loses his eye. So he has to wear a patch and all that. And he's not, you know, the same character he was. So again, this one is sort of one of those where, you know, the impossible, what you never thought would happen, happens. And I actually remember the number of the issue. It's 83. Uh, issue number 83, which uh, where Carl gets shot in the eye. And I remember online it just blowing up people, you know, over that picture, that spread Charlie Adler drew. And, uh, of course, the story that Robert Kirkman wrote deciding to, to have that happen to Carl at that time, everyone just lost their damn minds. There's people I, I, uh, I did a video on, and everyone was, like, so excited when that happened. The forums were blowing up. Everything was just crazy. Um, definitely one of the best spreads, one of the most surprising moments in all of The Walking Dead, for sure. Uh, I don't think they're going to do that in the television show, but who knows? I mean, maybe they could if they ever get to that point. I really hope they do because I'd love to see that kind of stuff in the television show as well. In terms of score, i got to give this one a 10 out of 10 too. It's one of the most exciting trades ever. It's probably my second favorite trade of The Walking Dead. Maybe.